A lot of people say, why buy the cow when you can get the milk for free? I say that my gentleman callers never done lasted long enough to make their decision to buy this cow. Some are too proud to face the truth. I know right from wrong. Revenge is right. They are wrong. It all started with my father. He would hit my mama and I couldn't take it no more. On my 16th birthday, I shot him in the back of the head. Then every man after that seemed to cause me trouble. You can't look uglier than you already are. I feel no shame in protecting myself. What can you do? I don't know. You tell me. Now where was I in my story? Oh yes. I met this boy called Jeffrey Lewis. I wanted to start a new life with him. Only one problem. My Jeffrey was a bit of a gigolo. I'm leaving you, Sybil. Why? Because we're getting married. I can't love, can't you. love you. You're too raging, raging, raging for my life. Not to mention, not to mention, fat, worn, worn out. Thank you both kindly. Have a nice wedding. At the graveyard. The heartbreak was pain enough to kill. I have no idea how I ever loved another man after that. But I loved, and I lost. Who is left to shoot at? Who's left to court me? Is there a difference at this point? My scarlet letter was made with the blood of the men I done killed. I suppose that's a fitting epitaph for all of them. Man after man, I couldn't find the one. So I left Georgia and set out to find love in the north. I met a Yankee named Aaron Wasserstein. Seemed nice. Till one day he done spread some ugly rumors about me. Almost could have got me arrested. Didn't want him to feel no pain. He was a beautiful man. Dear Lord, I don't know why I done it. No one's ever gonna love a killer like me. What should my punishment be? I'll have to remember all this. I swear, I don't know of a southern belle who can wash up the wife beaters, knock out ne'er-do-wells, hang hooligans, and fire a gun at fakers.